it's Megan. I'm here today with my brother Tony. He is the driver of the U.S. Army Top Fuel Dragster. Tony, on Thursday you went to the World of Coke in Atlanta. How was dinner? It was great. I think more, more than just the dinner, uh, the whole atmosphere is fantastic. You know, we had the pleasure of sitting at the table with uh, one of the ESPN reporters, someone from high up in Coca-Cola, someone from high up in NHRA, and someone from high up in ESPN, and, and my father, and, and just, it was great. Just be able to sit there and uh, chat about what it took to be a champion and, and what it takes to build a great team, both at DSR, Coca-Cola, ESPN. Uh, it, it was awesome, you know, and, and I think what makes it so nice is it's just champions. It's just, it's a group of guys there that have figured out how to be champs at some point in their career, and it makes it a pretty special night. Awesome. I heard you went golfing yesterday. How did you play? Uh, I did good. Le Legacy on Lanier, my, fr my crew chief, Mike, and myself, I uh, actually got a hole-in-one for the first time in my life. You know, my guys have been teasing me. They go, like, putt-butt golf. Uh, it, was a, it was an awesome shot. I got a lot of friends that are much better golfers than I am that have never gotten one. So, uh, you know, a unique situation. It's just I tell everybody I was not aiming for that hole. I was aiming for the green. It went in the hole. That's it. But uh, just to get anywhere near there, and just, it's, it seems to be the right way to start out a weekend you know uh, we're in Atlanta we've never this is the only race on the racing circuit that we haven't won so to go get that hole in one right away and, and get you know chin up positive attitude and we'll go out and try to win this thing for the fans and for ourselves obviously for the US Army awesome well thank you <laughs> Tony's going to show us what he does during an actual run sitting inside the car all right guys this is pretty cool uh, obviously we have a steering wheel we have fuel pumps we'll go over the parts first uh, and then we'll, we'll explain the order Parachutes, a brake handle, ignitions and computer switches, a camera for ESPN, a clutch lever, and a throttle pedal. And on the run, when, when you see us before we do the run, we're sitting there and, and they say, start them up. Okay, I'm going to be holding the clutch in. My, my foot will be in the throttle. We'll start them up. The crew chief will turn the fuel on. And I'm just holding the brake. They're going to trim in the back. They're going to trim and make the, the fuel where they want it, uh, pop the the, the nozzles in the injector do whatever they have to do to make it idle correctly and then they're going to roll me forward when they roll me forward my foot which is inside the throttle all i do is i let off the clutch i let it get to rolling and it's going to roll slow it depends on the amount of drag and tug you have but as we roll through the pits uh, or through the water box i'm going to let go of the brake and just give it gas and when i give it gas i'm only going to open it a tiny little bit of the injector we're just trying to get the tires hot and roll through the water and clean them off i'll push the clutch back in stop the car with the handbrake and reach down and this is our forward and reverse forward is actually towards you reverse is the way because the g's if i hit the gas and it it pulled it back like it would do it would obviously put it in reverse which we don't want break the reverser so this is forward when i stop i will trim it forward in reverse and then we're just letting off now the key to a lot of these the cars are is not to be riding a clutch you know if you've ever driven a stick shift what you don't want to do is ride the clutch smoke it get it hot so what we do is you let off and you let the car get to rolling, then you push it all the way back on until you're where you want to be. We're obviously doing steering with the steering wheel. The crew ahead of me, I can't see behind me, so whoever's backing me up is giving me a forward uh, or a backwards straight, left, right, and I'm following his orders to get the car backed up into the hot tracks or at least where the crew chief wants it. At that moment, we put the car back and forward, okay? We're going to pull up and we're going to stop. The crew is going to get the car ready. And then they're going to give me the go-ahead. And when they give me the go-ahead, I'm going to pre-stage the car. And I'm going to wait. Wait for the other car to pre-stage. Then I'm, I'm going to pull the fuel pump all the way on from one pump to two pumps. I'm going to step off the clutch and put my leg on a brace. Then I'm going to use my hand to roll in until I'm staged. When the lights come on, I'm going to let go of the brake, open the throttle, steer the car down the track. When I get to the finish line, I'm going to hit the parachutes. This is going to pull a chute, reach up, turn the fuel off. And as we slow the car down at the other end, if there's a problem, you could use the other parachute, reach up and hit the ignitions and shut the cars off, go around the corner. And you got to remember, it's all happened in three and a half seconds. And as you're going around the corner, you got to make sure not to be tangling up the parachutes on the walls or getting it connected with the other cars. A lot to do in three and a half seconds, but there's really two minutes of the car running, and it's still an awful lot uh, for, for running a race that's won and lost by thousands of a second. It's a ton of stuff to do, and it has to be done in exact order and perfectly.